Hello, welcome to Trader TV. My name is Robert Sievers. Today we are here with Jeremy Newsom, owner of reallifetrading.com. How are you doing today, Jeremy? Robert, I'm fantastic, my man. How are you? Uh, I'm doing very, very well. It's uh, it's great to have you on the show today. Thanks, man. Um, so should we go get get it, go ahead and get a little started with uh, just kind of a little background about your trading history, kind of how you got into trading in the first place, um, yeah, into trading yeah. or finance? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, are you familiar with the movie Forrest Gump? Of course. <laughs> well, it's one of my favorite movies of all time, Me and too. when I was seven. Uh, I was watching with my dad, and uh, do you remember that movie at the end of the scene, or the the scene at the end of the movie where he says that uh, Lieutenant Dan invested in a fruit company, they didn't have to worry about money anymore? <laughs> yeah, I you definitely know? Well, it was Apple, it was the company, so I yeah. asked my dad what he was talking about, my dad told me, and I really related to Forrest Gump because I grew up in a really uh, deep south part of Georgia, okay. really in the woods, so I related to him and his character. Man, right at that point, everything clicked. I just wanted to uh, to invest and be in finance and be in money and uh, be in trading. I didn't really know what it was exactly, but I just knew I wanted it uh, pretty much since the age of seven. Okay. Do you do uh, a little bit of shrimp fishing on the side as well? or? <laughs> no, I didn't do any shrimp fishing. Uh, okay, I, did, okay. Uh, I definitely did other fishing. <laughs> I, uh, I did love fishing, but from there... Uh, you know, your just normal life progresses. I ended up going to college, the University of Florida, okay. go Gators. Uh, and I was there for a few years uh, as a business uh, major slash finance major. Okay. Because I thought college taught you how to trade the stock market. I thought that's why you went to college. If you're a finance major, you would learn what the stock market is, right? But. Um, apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> apparently that's not what, what happens in college. <laughs> so, um, you know, I got out of college and just really started exploring the internet and uh, trying to find some educational courses out there to kind of teach the markets and kind of ever from there, man, it's been just a beautiful waterfall of awesomeness. Awesome. Well, yeah, I mean, that sounds that sounds like a kind of a good story and a good kind of uh, well, good kind of idea of what got, really got you into trading in the first place. And uh, I know because I kind of, you know, went through some of the similar things. I, I also went to business school and was expecting to to learn a little bit more about the stock market and was uh, right. really surprised that, you know, they didn't really teach us any strategy at all except for basic terminology and that sort of thing. So exactly. is that kind of the reason why you got uh, started into education in the stock market and why you created your website in the first place? Yeah, that's that's exactly right. I, um, I always wanted to be a teacher, you know, when I was in school because I just, I don't know, I like teaching. It's one of those things that, uh, I enjoy and I really love the moment when like the light bulb comes on and it just clicks and people get it. it that really excites me. <laughs> and unfortunately, um, teachers don't get paid enough. Uh, almost in any country, especially in the United States of yeah, America. I live definitely. in Nashville, Tennessee, and I feel it's one of the most under uh, overworked, underpaid professions out there. And so my thought as a, as a capitalist at heart, I thought, how can I make a lot of money, um, but also teach and so I want to go into the trading realm because you know you can make money trading but that's why I teach and that's why the education at real life trading is free because I don't want that barrier of entry to be there I want anyone from anywhere around the world if they want to learn about the stock market they don't have to go to college they don't have to pay ten twenty thousand dollars to take a class about covered calls you can just learn it and it's just there it's accessible at your fingertips really quick really easy and uh, education is really the key to changing any problem anywhere in the world, in my personal opinion. You know, it's poverty, homelessness, uh, whatever it might be. I think it can be solved with proper education. I mean, I agree. I mean, information is definitely power. And uh, to be able to have that, you know, uh, and to be able to share it is one of the, the beautiful things about the time that we live in with the Internet. And uh, the accessibility of all that information makes things, uh, makes things really nice. And so I, I highly recommend for all of our viewers to, to check out reallifetrading.com uh, uh, yeah, because a lot of the content really is up there for free. Um, I mean, even on your YouTube channel as well, I saw that you have a couple... Um, a couple educational shows, like strictly more even for like children as well, uh, trying to get maybe kids into like the stock market or especially for for beginners as well. So it's uh, that's I, I saw a little bit of that, and I, I saw that a lot of the content is available for free on your website. It looks like you had like three different eBooks as well that were available for download. So let's let's go ahead and let's get started uh, talking about real life uh, reallifetrading.com. Talk about some of the features that are up on the site. Uh, first of all, there was uh, a bunch of articles and free informational videos 
Uh, as far as the articles go, I mean, there was some on trade setups, trade lifestyle, and risk management. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about where you kind of get some of this information and how you choose to put it up on the website? Um, yeah, that's that's a very valid question. Um, so the trader lifestyle is one of the interesting uh, blog article sections, if you will, because that kind of correlates pretty well with kind of my submissions or sub objectives of the company. Okay. So the mission of real life trading is to enrich lives. That's our mission. The objectives and smaller missions beneath that is really to teach people what what the heck is a trader? Like what do people who trade the stock market, what do they do? Uh, or what? why do people like the stock market? What kind of person is that? Because really, there are billions of people around the world that are interested in the stock market, yet very few people know what they do. Like if I go to a Christmas party you know, a few weeks ago or a New Year's party and some of my friends are like, hey, long time no see, what are you doing these days, man? And I tell them I'm a professional trader, they have no idea what that means. <laughs> they have no clue. You know, if I said I'm a, I'm a policeman, boom, you know what I dress like, you know how, I, how hard I work, how I protect and serve, I mean, you, you get it, you know. Um, so trader lifestyle, that's why we built that is because, you know, the term real life trading, I'm trying to break it down to people like, okay, what do I really do on a day to day basis? And I don't just sit in front of the computer all day, every day, even though I'm wearing a Snuggie. Um, I'm not in front of the computer all the time. Like I'll trade, and I'll go to the gym, um, you know, go hang out with friends, go to lunch, go to concerts. I mean, you don't have to be in front of your computer all day every day being a slave to it. So uh, the trader lifestyle, that's really what it's about. Just kind of fully overall encompassing interesting aspects of everyday life. So I have an article on there called seven ways tennis is like trading. Okay. Uh, seven ways disc golf is like trading. Um, just ways that, you know, your normal things that you approach every day is similar to trading, even though you may not think you might not think about it that way. Uh, it is. And, and as far as the ideas, uh, I do the majority of the writing on the article on the websites, okay. but uh, one of my really good friends who lives in Indianapolis, his name is Brad Reed. Um, Angie Barbosa, she lives in Sacramento. I'm actually going to go visit her uh, over the Super Bowl weekend. Johnny Guarco, he lives in Hawaii. Uh, he's another one of uh, the traders and partners of Real Life Trading. And so with those team uh, comprise an incredible uh, nucleus of really great traders. And so we, we just have an idea. It pops in our head, and we just write it. Um, in regards to the trade setups that we post and we post pretty often, whatever's moving, whatever people are really interested in. I mean, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with the company StockTwits.com. Yeah. You know, if something's trending on there or a lot of people ask about it, I usually take requests. You know, so if someone emails me and say, hey, I would love an article on this, then I'll just boom, I'll make an article or video on that. Why not? You know, analysis at demand kind of thing. Okay, and then your, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe your, your StockTwits handle just for our users is at Newsome Nuggets uh, for people that want to maybe send you, send you a little email or send you a message yeah. on StockTwits to ask that, for a couple different things. That's it, man. You have at Newsome Nuggets, and I do post trades on there pretty often, okay. uh, just kind of my analysis of what I'm thinking about things. And then, yeah, Twitter's a, Twitter's a very interesting domain, I guess, and, and it's a very fun company to trade, too. <laughs> Um, so let's talk about a little bit about guess, your uh, personal trading. So I, okay. I read in your bio that you do a lot of covered calls, credit spreads, and selling naked options. Uh, how did you get into those um, in, into those types of trading? I mean, were you? I'm guessing you didn't start there. I'm guessing you evolved into that. And so, can you just give us a little bit of a detailed yeah, story? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There, there was definitely an evolution to get to there. And covered calls, um, really, the whole thing started when I was at a company called Nationwide Insurance. Okay. Hopefully, don't uh, you know? Hopefully, they don't get mad about me talking about them. But I was at Nationwide for a long time. A phenomenal company to work with. And there was a supervisor by the name of Rob Gwynn, and okay. me and him stay in contact to this day. Um, and I was only 18, 19 again. I was working myself through college, so I worked full time and went to school full time. And I was asking him just about money and finances. And he was like, hey, do you know about this, this, and this, you know, about buying stock? I was like, yeah, I know about, you know. So he kind of went into it. And then he told me about covered calls. And man, that was like the, the easiest. It just it immediately worked for me. He's like, buy a stock at 100, sell a covered call at 105. And if you get called away, you make a profit. If you don't, you keep your premium, you keep your stock, and you can do it again later. It's like owning a house, renting it out. And then if somebody wants, if your renter wants to buy the house, then you can sell it to them. It's like, bam, I don't, that makes total sense to me. Um, so that was actually the very first strategy that I started doing. And I had incredible success with covered calls. Now, 
uh, obviously it was during the bull market. So I started trading really, I mean, everyone started, a lot of people started trading in 2008. I lost a lot of money in 2008 because I just, I mean, I had no idea what was going on, dude. Zero, zero clue. Uh, so lost all of the money, which, about. yeah, which wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot. But, you know, I was 18 years old at the time, 18, 19. So I didn't have a lot of money. But uh, anyway, started learning covered calls and ended up trading my dad's retirement account uh, with with covered calls and nice. did really, really well. Yeah, for the first <laughs> few months. Uh, did really well, about 36% growth in three months. Okay. Um, and then I learned about options, which was the best, worst thing that could have ever happened to me ever in trading because uh, I actually ended up losing all of my dad's retirement every, every dime. Uh, wow. using options. Yeah. And just having no idea how to control risk, how to, uh, manage risk, how to get into the trade. And that's when, man, that was a hard time in my life. I was at rock bottom. Um, and I had nowhere to go, nowhere to go, but up really, cause I had a job and a house and food and that was really about all I had. So that's when I really said to myself, you know what, I'm going to find a way to teach people how to not do what I did to protect themselves. Uh, so they, they don't lose an incredible amount of money because I realize I have my entire life in front of me, but there are some people who might be 45 with kids and a wife and I do not want this to happen to them or someone who's 65 and has a really big nest egg and yeah. kids and grandkids and a legacy and I do not want them to lose their money either because if it's just sitting there in a 401k or IRA and the market really just absolutely gets destroyed, they're going to lose a significant amount of value yeah, and of that's course. scary. You know, that's a really scary thing. So that's why I was like, I want to teach people. I want to teach people. And so that's why I just started going down that um, that route, learning all the strategies that you mentioned that I posted. Uh, I really do consider myself mostly a day trader. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm in the I'm in the markets Monday through Friday. Okay. Um, every day that I want to be. Again, if I don't want to be, I just take the day off, which is great. It's nice. Yeah, it's really good. But uh, credit spreads, options, that's the things I was just learning all about the strategies. And I just wanted to go with limited risk, even though... Uh, naked puts is an unlimited risk theoretically strategy. Yeah. Um, you can still protect yourself with it. And I'll give a shout out to one of my mentors. Her name is Anne Marie, and she's with thetradingbook.com. And uh, she's she's well known in the trading circle. And Robert, if you ever get a chance to interview her, she's a great great lady. Uh, great I think trader. I will. See awesome, what I can yeah. do, see if we can set one up. But uh, yeah. yeah, I'd like to yeah. like to thank her for for helping you get out of uh, out of rock bottom. And you know, obviously, you got the the website going for you now. And the website looks really good to me. And you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of like I said, a lot of educational material up there. And some of the articles, like you said, are even on risk management, which you said you you built up from your own kind of personal experiences that you didn't want other people to. Um, to to recreate and so that's why you kind of posted some of that information so yep. like i said i highly highly recommend to our users or to our viewers to go to go check that out um there is also a lot of other um free informational videos as well for example like i saw some stock review updates determining trends review of td ameritrade uh, is that you as well who makes those those videos or do you have some other team members as well like i know you said you have, have quite a large team so yeah, we do have other team members, but I do make those videos. Um, I, I mean, most most of the videos I make, like I said, those are on demand. So you know, a lot of traders saying, "Hey, can you review this broker?" Uh, I'll be doing yeah. a review of interactive brokers very soon. Um, and a lot of times, I just take money and move it around to different brokers just to help out different students with their questions about that broker. So I do, yeah, I like to make those broker videos because um, I've I've traded through a lot of brokers. My first broker ever was Scott Trade. Uh, that I moved to uh, Charles Schwab. Then I moved to Options House, and I mean, I've done them at this point. I've done almost, almost every broker that uh, most people can think of, except for some of the Canadian ones. Um, Quest Trade, I think, is one of them I have not done, but yeah, I do make most of those videos. And uh, like I said, anyone who visits the website or emails me, it's a very e easy email, Jeremy at Real Life Trading, or you can find me on Twitter, uh, as Robert mentioned earlier. Yeah, let me know. Hey, I want to know this, and there's a really good chance I've already made a video on it, but if I haven't. Um, I will make that video and uh, email it and put it on YouTube for the world to see. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I definitely you know, I recommend trying to, trying to get in contact with Jeremy if you have any questions. I know that we get a lot of questions on Trader TV, for example, about um, what, uh, what brokers to use, for example, if you're international, you know, say, for example, that you're, um, you know, you're, you're trying to invest and you're, you're living at the moment in Northern Africa or, you know, the Middle East yep. or in, um, you know, in the, the eastern part or the western part of, uh, of Europe. So it's, we get a lot of questions about that for people that are looking to do a little bit more of international trading and trying to find uh, an international broker. So uh, I recommend for people that are, you know, on Trader TV looking for that sort of stuff to, 
you know, maybe uh, to, to shoot Jeremy a, a question or a, a message on, on Twitter or StockTwits. And, you know, it seems like he's got some experience and he'll be able to help, help, be, able to help you out with that. Absolutely. Absolutely, um, man. Okay, and then so let's let's go to the uh, the live trading rooms that, that you guys have on, on okay. LiveTrading.com. So I saw that there was two of them. Um, one of them, the morning trading room, is with Brad Reed and and you. So would mm -hmm. you say that it's you the major or half the time, or it's the majority of the time it's Brad? It's uh, I'm it's about sixty forty, um, okay. closer to fifty fifty, me and him. So I do all day Monday Friday, um, and then I do about two and a half hours uh, Tuesday Wednesday Thursday. And, and I m normally do that, you know, for a multitude of reasons uh, to allow me to help, help other traders, coaching sessions, emails. Um, and then there's just the business side of, you know, real life trading. You have like yeah. business things that you have to do over here. <laughs> <laughs> so those, I know those man. business things. Ta gosh. Taxes. Yeah. Taxes, <laughs> forms. Um, so I got to do those every now and then. Uh, and so I have to make time for that as well. But, you know, those are also the times I really just love trading because, man, I, I like getting in the zone. I like to describe to myself, I don't really tell the people this often, but I call myself the Phil Ivy of trading. Uh, <laughs> when, when I'm by my, I put my phone away, all communication, I turn off all social media and I'm just in the zone. And that's, that's when I uh, usually make my best profits uh, when I'm just kind of focused in like that. And I say Phil Ivy because I used to be a big poker fan. Okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the morning room, we have a morning room from 9 a.m. Yep. Eastern. So it's on right now, uh, 9 a.m. Eastern until 2 p.m. Eastern. Monday through Friday, and we're we're day trading. We're day trading stocks. We're day trading options. Uh, and that's about ninety percent of what we do. And then every now and then we'll focus on some swing trades, like swing trades being longer term. If there's some things in there setting up uh, for a week or two weeks or a month or whatever, boom, 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 we're in the trade and it's on. Um, the afternoon, um, the afternoon trading room is Monday through Friday, five to six p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we do record that. And send it out to our subscribers because I realize that some people have jobs, some people have families, uh, some people are busy during the day doing whatever it is that they do, and I want them to have the opportunity to sit down with their favorite bevy in hand and uh, just watch and listen to some analysis and find some good trade setups uh, because I do say, hey, this is a trade that I really love. This is the entry. This is the stop. This is the target. This is how long I think the trade is going to take. This is how much you should risk. I mean, I go through everything because that's. That's what real life trading is about. A lot of a lot of analysts out there are saying, "Hey, I want to buy Netflix." Well, you're not going to get that much from that. Uh, you know, I want, but I really focus on the like you mentioned, the risk mitigation. If you're going to be buying this, this is how much you should risk. This is where your stop should go, and this is what I'm expecting if this and this happens. Uh, and I write out my plan. So that's again more dedicated for swing traders. But those are the only two services that we have a charge for, uh, for pretty obvious reasons. Also, because yeah. you don't want to flood the market uh, and have. I mean, a thousand, two thousand people in there for free. Of course, because uh, you could really, uh, yeah, exactly. And you can't focus on on the people who really actually want to be there. And of course, that's much more uh, of a time intensive uh, a feature, you know, because exactly. you really have to to put a lot of time and effort into those. But um, I mean, it looks to me like those are really uh, from from nine a.m. to two p.m. Is, is 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 a long session, you know, just regard looking at some of the other the other trading um, sites that I've seen, you know, some of the the live trading rooms. That's that's really uh, that's quite a long session, so you know, uh, I, I again, I recommend checking that out. Uh, it's I think it was uh, 149 a month uh, for the the uh, morning trading room, and then 99 a month for the afternoon trading room, and then if you wanted to do both, it's 199. So, also, it's you know, it's not that expensive as well. It's uh, in order to to get that that one on one kind of interactive trading with you and and with Brad, you know, it's it's really not that expensive of a. Um, of a fee, especially after listening to, you know, some of the stories that you told us about that, you know, you really like learned a lot of these experiences based upon your own, uh, I mean, your own life based upon your own failures, yeah. which is the best way to do it. Uh, I mean, it's the only way after bringing yourself back from that is, you know, you're, you're the best person to basically talk to because you've lived through all these experiences and you can tell people what they should do and what they shouldn't do. And so it's, you know, in order to pay only like uh, $99 a month to not to not lose all of your savings is it's pretty cheap. Yeah, I appreciate you saying that, man. Thanks so much uh, for mentioning that. And and you're you're right. I mean, that's again one of our objectives is that we we try to make it very exclusive. Um, you know, it, it is a very close knit community, family of traders, if you will. And uh, 
And I, I do, it's very radio show-esque. So again, a lot of other training rooms out there, and you might have experience with this, Robert. I'm not saying this is bad or good, because it really depends on your personality. Yeah, but course. some of them are just very, you know, they only talk trading. So they only speak verbally if there's a trade set up, and which is, you know, 3% of the day. Yeah, exactly. I talk. I talk about ninety eight percent of the day, which is like there's no way it's possible. It, it, trust me, it's very possible. Uh, if there's no trade going on, I'm gonna be telling you guys about my uh, trading, a trading history, trading story, upcoming trade, something funny, a bad joke, a good movie, uh, the Super Bowl coming up. Uh, we'll talk sports. I mean, it's we do have discussions other than trading because sometimes during the day. No, there's nothing, true. There's, there's nothing just, going on. Yeah, you you, know? you, gotta, you gotta hurry up and wait, basically. Yeah, you know, yeah, we so. have fun. Yeah, exactly. of course. Um, so yeah, you got the entertainment factor as well as well as the education side on on reallifetrading.com. So you know, it's a uh, it's a double feature that you guys are paying for. Yeah, man. Um, in in addition to that, yeah, there was there's even more free material up on the website. Um, some more education material. Uh, let's let's talk a little bit about. Um, about the classes that you offer. And so there was, looked like there was a couple of different ones for swing trading for beginners. Uh, mm -hmm. There's the swing trading for intermediate students. And then there's the trading mastered. And then so just from my little research, I, I saw that there's basically like one introductory video that kind of explains um, what's going to be covered in the course. And then each course has four different classes, which uh, I didn't really get to see exactly how long the classes were. They looked like they were in between a half hour and an hour and a half. How, yeah. how long does it take? To, to finish the average course? Um, That's a great question, Robert. And yeah, all, all of those are free as well. Um, yeah. you know, we, just, we just need your name and email so that we, when, when, you're, when you're asking questions, we know who you are. Um, but yes, the, the beginning class is, that, that was my objective, to teach it as, as comprised or as, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, but anyway, it's four hours long. Yeah. So I can teach someone who oh, is okay, brand okay. new. Yeah, my challenge is I can teach someone who is brand new uh, let's say my friend's grandma who has no idea what the stock market is. I really think if she watches those videos, she learns about trading in four hours. That's the beginning section. And then the intermediate section is about candlesticks, chart patterns, sentiment, Dow theory. That's four hours long. And then the trading uh, mastered uh, or the advanced section, if you will, again, about four classes long and again, about four hours. And that's just really for the in-depth things. And we have a lot of uh, playlists. Uh, and we add on to those in uh, in YouTube, and we're always evolving that particular uh, site as well, and adding classes, adding content pretty frequently. So and, you know, updating the old classes and putting some new ones in there. And uh, yeah, they're they're pretty solid content, if I do say so myself. And most of them are live recordings of classes that we taught. Okay. So you know, we we get a bunch of people uh, on the webinars, and boom, we teach it, and uh, then we just record it and upload it and make it spicy. Yeah, and you you really do have a lot a lot of uh, of the content available on YouTube as well. I mean, I didn't actually yeah. check to see how many videos you had, but you know, it took me it took me quite a couple clicks to get all the way down to the bottom. You know, I think that there's there's maybe at least you know like between fifty and hundred of them. So it's uh, yeah. like I said again, I recommend checking that out if you're looking just to get uh, basic education, and then of course from there you can decide if you want to start taking the intermediate courses and um, some of the the extensive uh, the mastering courses. Uh, in addition to that, there was also a day trading course, professional trading, and then you have the three ebooks, which I'm guessing are um, in beginner, intermediate, and advanced as well. So the beginner would be how to retire um, on three thousand dollars, and the inter uh, the beginner sorry intermediate would be candlesticks, and the intermediate would be the, the Fibonacci secrets. But correct me if I'm, yeah. if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're pretty spot on with that, man. I actually didn't think about that until just now. <laughs> I didn't do that intentionally, but yeah, it's you're part of you're my job, you know. Yeah, so. <laughs> you're solid, man. You're Thank solid. you, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that so that's so the ebooks were really fun to write. The retire on three K is very, very, very day trading based. Um, it it really does talk about and correlate how you can use other people's money in trading. A lot of people don't know that that exists, but it it does. People will give you loans. And I say that in quotes because it's not exactly how it works. But the professional trading page talks about. How there are uh, hedge funds out there that will make you get certified, take tests, and that kind of thing. But once you pass all the requirements, they'll give you their money to trade with, um, because you know it's a win-win situation. If you're profitable and they're profitable, uh, everything everyone's happy kind of situation. So yeah, retire on 3K is designed for that. Uh, you know, like you mentioned, a beginning person who maybe really wants to learn how to day trade, who might not have tons of money to trade with, or they do have a lot of money 
but they want to tiptoe with a small chunk of you know small yeah, investment. They want initially. to get started before yeah, they really exactly. uh, invest one hundred percent. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, candlesticks. Uh, that was a really fun ebook to write because I just I love candlesticks. I love candlestick trading, candlestick analysis, uh, and then like you mentioned, the Fibonacci uh, secrets. That's a really fun, uh, really fun article and ebook to write. There's gonna be another one up there very soon, truly in about a week, uh, called "My Four Favorite Types of Gaps and How to Trade Them." Uh, so that's gonna be okay. kind of an intermediate base as well. So that's coming up in you know just a few days, honestly. So keep back, keep come back to the sites for that. Okay. Um, all, all the other pages, you know. Of the ones I think that are most uh, important in correlation to those ebooks would be professional trading and day trading. Both of those um, uh, do correlate to the retire on 3K information. Okay, so you recommend maybe checking out those courses at the same time that you're that you're reading that yeah. that first book, yeah. how to I how do. to retire on 3K. You okay. got it, man. Yep. Okay, awesome. And I feel like I've said this, you know, the entire time today. But in addition to that, there's also extra courses online. Um, there's also some language teaching courses, which of course strays a little bit from, strays a little bit from the, the finance day trading kind of uh, sector and goes into, into something else. But something that I feel like is equally as important, um, you know, if you want to be able to be a successful day trader, then you need to kind of understand how the rest of the world works, you know, because it's, it's really a global economy now, especially with the ease of access of information and being able to understand or at least read a, a second language it will help you be able to get access to some of that other information. For example, um, I know that you offer Spanish classes. So for, for people that are looking to maybe, you know, uh, get invested in, in Latin America or something along those lines in some companies over there, then that will obviously be a big help. Um, and then French Canadian classes as well. And so uh, do you, how, how, how did you get those, the, get those started? Um, is, is it you that teaches them, or did you speak multiple languages? Can we can we hear a little bit of it now going? Or man, I barely speak English. Uh, <laughs> so no, I don't teach those classes. But th again, thanks so much for mentioning these classes. No, I mean, they're really near and dear to my heart because, as you mentioned, and this this is just from a North American boy. Um, we have a North America United States bias. If you're if you're born and raised in the U.S you kind of forget that there's other countries out there. <laughs> you really, truly, it's, it's sad to say, but you do. And you have this bias of what everything else out there is. And guys, it's a, it's a big world. There's a yeah. lot of people out there. And there's very little, very like a minute information on uh, a, someone who speaks Spanish fluently, um, or maybe that's their primary language. There, there are a few people out there who only speak Spanish. And uh, it's really hard to find any solid information out there. So my objective was, okay, I want this information to be relevant to people all over the world, not just in America, not just, you know, white pasty American boy. I want a <laughs> lot of other, I want everyone a diversification from all around the world to learn this stuff. So I went out and hired translators. Wow. Okay. Uh, so those, those potential rooms, uh, I'm sorry, those classes are not uh, free because, you know, yeah. I want to pay people for their ability to be uh, multilingual. I think that's a very incredible talent. Again, I can, I barely got one down. So I want, if you can speak two or three or four or five, I'm going to pay you for that talent. So uh, Robert, we have a lot more coming, man. Uh, we got French Canadian, oh, really? which I know that, there, yeah, I know there's a difference between uh, just pure French and Paris, which I think you're located in yeah. and like Montreal. So I want to make that distinction. Uh, they're French Canadian. They're, you know, my buddy, Robert Roberto, Great guy, phenomenal trader. Um, he he taught those. Uh, Lydia Barbosa, who lives in California, she taught the Spanish classes. Okay. Uh, I got Russian on the way. Ooh, wow, uh, nice. Felix is Felix from Germany uh, is in Miami is gonna is teaching German. Um, Arabic is on the way. Mandarin, Portuguese. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna we're you, gonna make it. We're making it happen. You're, you're really <laughs> trying to pull in as many of the languages as you can can possibly think of a name. Absolutely. I think is what it sounds yeah. like. You know, you, you could just be making things up for all that I know. You know, it's <laughs> pretty. No, they're all they're all there, and that's the other hard part is I could hire just a regular translator right now, but I want someone who knows how to trade, and that's that in itself is the challenge of you know because they're really they're translating my classes, so okay. I'm not just giving them material and saying hey have fun. I'm giving them all of my classes and saying hey. Make this relevant in your language. Trade this. Give the information how you would teach it. Uh, so I'm finding good teachers who are also really great traders who also speak another language, and uh, that's just a whole other part of it. And it's, man, it's, it's so exciting to see what that might do in the future. Just because 
there's millions and millions of people worldwide who want this information and dude it, it does not exist it's very very hard to find of course no oh, and it's you know it's amazing that you're getting this this translated into multiple different languages to try to make it available to as many people as possible but yeah, of course, I understand that, you know, the, the content can't really be free at, at that point anymore because it's, it's more than just your content at that point. It's more than just your work going into it. And so there's, there's definitely, you know, there's, there's a, reasoning for, a reasoning behind that. And so, um, you know, it's, um, it's a great thing, I think, that you're doing, that you're, you're making it available to as many people as possible and uh, trying to, to spread the education, which, you know, you, you spent a lot of time and a lot of effort um, kind of accumulating. So, yeah, I appreciate it, man. No, Thanks. Of course, of course. Um, is, you know, is there, is there any other thing that you would like to really share with us about real life trading.com or about yourself? Um, oh, thing that you oh. want, uh, you viewers to watch or I mean, um, viewers to hear or anything like that. There's not, not much else about me. I'm not really that impressive or important, but there is one thing that I do uh, always love focusing on. And it's, it's really kind of the most random, uh, part of real life trading. And I have a lot of business mentors, Robert, who are like, don't do this. It's not going to ever make you money. I'm like, that's okay. I'm fine with not making money because you know what? I can go into the market. I can make whatever, however much money I need to make whenever I need to make it. That's what's beautiful about the market. Must be nice. Kids month, March. Like you mentioned earlier, I have some kid webinars, only mm -hmm. two. That's not acceptable. It's not enough. Every single March is kids month where I, right. uh, where I, other traders, we, we come together. We create classes like what is investing? What is the stock market? What is, what is saving money? What are banks? What are checking accounts? Uh, what is the stock? How do you buy? You know things like that. You really what well, people would consider basic, and honestly, I've had some adults learn from these classes as well. But I call it Kids Month because I want to teach someone who, you know, obviously two or three, it's hard to pick up on concepts. Uh, yeah, like, just a little bit. Uh, trading the stock market <laughs> is tough. when you're two or three is it's challenging. Tough. It's so. tough, but they they can begin to osmosis it into their brain. <laughs> but uh, you know, seven to really, I, I say eighteen, but nineteen, twenty, forty, whatever. If you want to learn kids uh, kids topics. They're very basic. You know, I kind of really go slow, but make it as entertaining and, and upbeat as possible. It's like a concert. I play Katy Perry most of the time. <laughs> but we're teaching, uh, I'm teaching kids, because uh, that's yeah. when it started for me when I was seven. That's and what I was going to say. Exactly, and that's, yeah. I was like, if, if, it, if I can do that, one other kid's gonna come out, come away from this and wanna create a business, um, want to invest and want to help their family, because that's, again, you know, deep, deep down inside. That's the reason I do what I do is because if I make money, uh, honestly, I give most of my money away um, I, just because I know I can make it whenever I want. And that talent is that, that capability is mind blowing. So I want to help other people, help my family members, help my friends, help charities, help events, help this, help that. And uh, I mean, that's that's why I love doing so kids month every single March. Every webinar obviously is 100 percent for free. And I reach out to homeschools. Uh, middle schools, high schools, elementary schools, and try to present these webinars and make them as big as possible and just teach as many kids as possible. I even do in, uh, in person, um, events, you know, public speaking, that type of thing, motivational speaking for young children, uh, high schoolers, whatever. And that's part of real life training that really is just, is not hidden by any means, but it's something that a lot of traders are like, why are you doing that? It doesn't make any sense. But to me, it's more, it's more powerful than the majority of what I teach. And I, I just love it. Sounds to me like you're really a man of the people, Jeremy. And so, uh, you know, I, Thanks, I man. appreciate that, you know, and uh, it's obvious based upon looking at your website, you know, a lot of the material, like I said, is up there for free. And, you know, so it's really you can you, you can tell uh, about your generosity just based upon looking, you know, spending a couple minutes on your website. And so for, for our users that are, are looking to get um, any level of, of education, you know, I highly, highly recommend checking out reallifetrading.com, maybe doing a little bit of chat with, uh, with Jeremy in his uh, afternoon trading room or the morning trading room. And uh, so I think that's the majority of the time that we have for today. Uh, I just want to thank you very much, Jeremy, for joining us. Um, yes, have a sir. nice day and uh, good luck with, uh, with your trading and with the education. You got it, man. Thanks so much for setting this up. And, I, and Trader TV, all the watchers, subscribers, followers, thank you for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me, to real life trading, and to all the people out there in the world who are looking for stock market education. Robert, you and your team, you guys did amazing this morning. You're very, cor very cordial, courteous, and professional. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Have thank a great day. Thank you, Jeremy. Really appreciate it. Have a good one. Man. See you. You too. All right. That was Jeremy Newsome of reallifetrading.com. Um, thank you very much for joining us today. That's all the time that we have for today. Please keep uh, checking out Trader TV and check them out, checking out Jeremy's website. Uh, good luck with the rest of your trading and have a nice day.